Every year, thousands of people take up the 5K walking or running goal. Most often, it's to participate in some kind of organized event. There are all sorts of 5K walks, often for charity, but sometimes even just for fun. 5Ks are also the first two of actual running races and could be the first step towards a person running or in our case, walking. So whether you want to participate in a 5K walk or you just want some extra motivation, going from couch potato to walking a 5K in one go is a great feeling. The best part is that any healthy person can work their way up to walking a 5k with just a little practice. And so, in today's video, we'll be going over our top 10 tips to help you get started today. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell to get notified of our latest video. Number 10. Create a training plan. Did you know that most healthy adults can finish a 5k walk with just a few weeks of training? Even if you're currently spending more time on the couch and not hitting the pavement walking, you can work your way up to 3.1 miles walking a mile at a time with just a set plan to follow. Sometimes all it takes is a goal to motivate you to get out and begin walking. It's amazing how far the human body can walk. Our ancestors migrated far and wide even walking across continents with just your trusty feet. Even if you're not walking much at the present time, your body is still built for the same amount of walking your ancestors did. Walking a 5k means walking for about an hour at a brisk pace. If you're looking to burn calories or burn fat by walking, building up to a 5k goal can help you achieve that. If you're looking to start a morning walking habit or increase your walking speed, you'll have extra motivation working towards completing a 5k race. Number 9. Picking a goal time. A brisk walking speed is typically a minimum of 3 miles per hour or 5 kilometers per hour, which means brisk walkers should be able to complete a 5k in 1 hour. And depending on your walking speed, here's how long a 5k can potentially take you. Now, how many steps is a 5k? Your step count will depend entirely on your step length, which is based on three things, your height, stride, and speed. Here are some general guidelines for the average person so that you can come up with your own estimations. Number eight, being comfortable. Training the walk a 5K race starts with just training to walk more. The better your body is at walking, the easier it would be to walk 3.1 miles involved in your 5K walking race. After all, it takes between 10 and 30 minutes to walk a mile. If you have the stamina to get 3.1 miles without stopping, it will take between 30 and 90 minutes to walk 3 miles. This means that your target for a 5k race should be a 1 hour walk, which you can build up to using long distance walking strategies. The longer you are comfortable walking, the easier it will be to walk for 60 to 90 minutes at a stretch. The faster you are comfortable walking, the easier it will be to shorten that time by walking with a brisk pace. For this kind of distance walk, you will probably want to maintain a relatively steady pace that you know that you can maintain for an entire 3.1 miles. While interval walking is great for short distances, you may find that you tire yourself out too quickly to complete the entire 5k walk. Number 7. Have fun and be creative. There are many fun and creative 5k events that are casual and open to all, including walkers and runners. The color run is one example. It's an untimed event where participants throw packs of colorful powder for a unique walking or running experience. The Color Run also raises money for a good cause. There are also many other types of interesting runs and walks to try. You can try a foam or bubble walk where you walk through bubbly foam, to a costume 5k, to a zombie run. Most of these events are open to walkers as well as runners, and the focus is on having a good time. Find one near you and you'll have some serious motivation to build up your walking endurance to get active. Number 6. Finding the right shoes and socks. Wear moisture wicking socks that fit tightly and don't bunch or wrinkle. Make sure you're wearing shoes that support your feet and roll correctly with each step. You can get by with running shoes as well, especially if you want to try to jog part of the 5k. Find the right shoes for your feet that don't rub, cause blisters, or leave your feet knees or hips aching at the end of a walk. Number 5. Right posture and walking form. Practice good walking posture and form, especially when you are working to increase your speed. 
Keep your back relatively straight and swing your arms in a natural motion. Take even steps, not favoring one leg over the other. Don't allow your knees to knock or flare. Your body will most likely tell you what the right posture and form is as you walk. You can try a power walking gait to keep your walking speed. Number four, breathing technique. Proper breathing ensures that you can walk long distances effectively. Try to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Don't worry about huffing and puffing. That's something that happens naturally when you're increasing your stamina and working hard. If your nose is stuffed, breathe deeply. Let the exercise clear your sinuses. Number three, injury prevention. Listen to your body. As you're starting to train for a 5K, you may be cranking up the intensity above what you're used to. Increasing your intensity can lead to soreness and injuries, especially if it's a sudden increase with inadequate rest. Shin splints, foot pain, and knee pain or soreness can happen as you build up endurance. Pay attention to how your body feels after a walk and dial down the intensity if you're feeling sore. Take other steps to lower your impact like focusing on walking on flat, softer surfaces wherever possible. Number two, stick to a schedule. The best thing that beginners can do to train for a 5K is to commit to walking five days a week with at least one rest day. This kind of training schedule allows you to build up that walking habit, but you'll also have sufficient rest for your body to recover. There are a variety of specific schedules you can follow to meet a goal or be ready in time for a race, but they all follow the same principles. Start by taking a 15 minute daily walk. This is a relatively short walk, but if you're not used to walking, it can actually tire you out, and that's perfectly fine. Take 15 minute walks until your body adjusts and 15 minutes starts to feel easy. When you're comfortable with 15 minute walks, increase your daily walking time to 20 minutes. When you're comfortable with 20 walks, increase your walks to 30 minutes. Each time your body adapts and you are no longer so tired or achy at the end of a walk, you are ready to increase your time. Remember, your goal is to reach 60 to 90 minutes of walking to be sure your stamina is ready to walk 5K in one go. Be aware that you might need to stay at a level for more than a week, or you may need to dial down the intensity if you're feeling sore, and that's fine too. Once you're walking 20 minutes a week, designate one day, ideally the day before your rest day, to take longer walks. This could be a 25 minute walk during your 15 minute walking week, or it could be longer. You do not need to worry about your walking speed during this walk. You're just trying to get used to walking for a longer period of time. Once you feel comfortable with your normal walking pace, try increasing your speed. You can go a little faster the whole time or focus on interval training. Don't expect to be able to increase both your speed and walking time at the same time, as walking faster will tire you off faster naturally. You can mix in shorter, faster walks with longer, slower walks and then start to increase the length of those shorter walks. Alternatively, you can do a 15 minute or 30 minute walking workout using intervals to build up your speed. And finally, number one, practice makes perfect. Once you've worked your way up to walking 40 minutes on your daily walk, try walking for a full hour or on a GPS tracked 5K route once a week, or at least on the day before your rest day. Check your 5K walking speed to see if you're satisfied with your projected 5K performance. You might be a bit nervous before the 5K event, so it's good to train for a bit longer and faster than your actual goal. This way, if you start off walking a bit too fast, you still have the endurance to make it to the finish line. Walking a 5K for an event or just as a personal milestone can help motivate you to walk longer, burn more calories, and get fitter than ever. 5K is also a goal that most healthy people can easily reach after several weeks of dedicated walking. All it takes is walking a little longer each week until your body has adapted. Soon, you may even find yourself walking marathons as you get used to the routine of training and the thrill of becoming more fit. So there you have it, our top 10 tips to get you started on your couch to 5K journey. We hope this helps and wish you the best of luck. If you enjoyed today's content, make sure to smash the like button as it helps with the YouTube algorithm and for the channel. And for every like that this video gets, a lost kitten will actually find its way home. We'll see you in the next video.